BC's finance minister is making a sales pitch for his new balanced budget and for his government, hoping to convince voters between now and May that the Liberals deserve another term in office. The budget has taken the province's $1.5 billion deficit and turned it into a surplus in the coming year of nearly $200 million. But the opposition says that is just a bunch of numbers on paper. Our legislature reporter Stephen Andrew has more. Thanks. The day after BC's finance minister introduced his budget, he is selling it everywhere he can on morning radio. But to suggest that it's not balanced is simply plain politics. And later to the Victoria Chamber of Commerce. But you should know what motivated the decisions and what some of the impacts of those decisions are likely to be. The Liberals are using the budget as a major plank of their re-election campaign, but they know there are credibility issues. The budget, as you heard me again say today, is built around uh, some very uh, prudent projections that have been validated uh, every possible way uh, that I can think of. While the government is calling it Balanced Budget 2013, the opposition has coined another phrase. Bogus Budget 2013 books a net income for BC Hydro of $545 million. The NDP complains the government is stashing losses at the utility into a debt deferral account, which the NDP says proves the province's books are not balanced. So what conjurer's trick are you using to book $245 million of dividend from BC Hydro when clearly none exists? But the government is remaining firm. Its numbers are solid, even defending its decision to curb escalating health care costs. Specifically in this budget, what we're anticipating is savings through the pharmacare, through the generic drugs, um, through lab reform. The Liberals say those savings will not affect frontline patient care. The NDP isn't convinced. It's a debate that voters will hear a lot of in the coming weeks, and how they cast their ballot may just rest in their belief that Budget 2013 is either bogus or balanced. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria. The Liberals introduced a flurry of legislation in the House today, ranging from creation of an advocate for senior citizens to officially honoring Pacific salmon as BC's provincial fish. There were no fewer than 15 government bills, including one that creates the year-old promise of the seniors' advocate.